Hey everyone, this is Bukhari. Today I'm so excited to be here in this tutorial and today's video tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a beautiful beautiful image slider from the scratch okay with full control over it. So let's see the final product that we are going to create okay so this is going to be the fully functional beautiful 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 image slider with the controls pause play next previous bullets or pager and the caption with the title and description and link all right so this is what we are going to create from the scratch for you guys okay so if you are interested stay tuned stick with me then within an hour or hour or so we'll be creating this kind of beautiful beautiful image slider for your web project or your any other projects okay so we will be creating these from scratch okay so let's do it shall we so let's jump back to dreamweaver this is the product I just showed you then file new uh, make sure it is a do HTML doc type create first of all give the page a title so it is going to be an awesome image slider all right now save it I'm going to save it on my desktop I'm going to create a new folder I'm going to call it awesome image slider and create and give the file a name um, awesome image slider and make sure you save this just created folder all right so let's get back to the desktop this is the folder we just created okay and within this folder we have only the one html5 and now i want these images to be in this folder because i want to use these images in my image slider project right so let's have a look at these images these are the beautiful photographies photographies of, of mine you know I'm not a professional photographer but it is my kind of hobby to take pictures right so um, and I believe you like it anyway it's not about the photos it's about the image slider right so um, okay so within our folder we have six files sitting in there one HTML file and five image files okay so uh, and we won't be using any other images for like arrows for example like arrows and other things we won't need that so let's do it let's get back to dreamweaver you can launch your favorite code editor that's not a problem at all so this is my favorite code editor so that's why I'm in here so we are going to build it from the scratch step by step there is nothing to worry about it okay so first step is going to be like putting the HTML structure make some space so that we can see everything clean okay so within the body first this is the first step step one we are going to build the HTML structure first so I'm going to add the div ID and first ID is going to be hero and then let's see so I'm going to add the first ID div and it is going to be called hero like so and then simply give it a comment tag that this is and the end of the hero ID right so we don't go out of this ID so this is the main ID hero ID where we will be keeping all of our IDs okay 
this is the hero id opening and the closing and everything will be will be within this id right so just after this tab then div id then this is going to be the slider id and we just after this give it a comment tag and slider all right and then within this slider id we are going to have all the essential ids and classes okay so within the slider id so we have this hero id okay and then within the hero id we have the slider id and within the slider id we're going to have another div class it is going to be called items that means it will be holding the images and the title and the descriptions okay for the caption all right so close it like so and then give it a comment tag this is the end of the items id class and within the item class we're going to have another class that calls that is called information info okay like so and then give give it also a comment tag and info all right so okay now within the items we're going to add the image tag in there img then source and then i'm going to add my first image so this one then close the image tag like so and for this image i'm going to have the i'm going to have the information this is basically the class okay so so within the class info we're going to have h2 header tag and a paragraph tag right and the h2 title is going to be for this image okay for this image i'm going to add the title h2 tag there the the secret gathering and in the description in the paragraph this is the moment captured in time I'm going to also add a anchor tag in there a h reference I'm also going to give it a HTTP address later on and just close it like so and then write learn more so give it a real HTTP address so http.www.bokhare.com this is the actual address true address so when someone click on this link and they will be taken to this address or any any address you fancy to put okay within this anchor tag right so now what we have here so we are let's minimize the white spaces okay <clears throat> and what we have here is that we have hero id okay opening and closing ones within the hero id we have the slider id okay and within the slider id we have one id one class one div class called items and then within the item class we have a div class 
information okay right so this is this div class information is within the div class items make sure you write that way all right great let's press refresh so we have our image and the title heading title h2 tag title and the description with the link right so as it should be precisely excellent press live okay moving on then we are going to simply copy these this is what we need in here so for my case for this tutorial sake of this tutorial we have five images so i'm going to copy this and paste it five times so we have five times in five images sitting there i'm simply going to change the update the images appropriate images so the second image is going to be the scaris and the title is going to be changed i'm simply quickly going to do it bear with me so this is the third one is skywall wall rising and the fourth one the sun ring the sun has rings last but not least one is that the moon duality the moon duality Okay, excellent so now we have five images with five specific heading to title and description with the link with link okay so excellent okay now we have our HTML structure almost done now we need to have um, few IDs for the next and previous next and previous um control and then pause and play and for the pager okay so just after the hero we're going to have five ids right so first one is going to be a pager and i'm simply going to copy this and i'm going to paste it so first one is pager and then p a u s e pause and then play and then next and then previous p r e v okay these are the controls id okay and for these uh, we need to add the little tiny icons for the pause we're going to add pressing com and a simp for the pause we're going to add this and we're going to rotate it later on okay so then for the play press and for the play it's going to be delta delta symbol and you're going to rotate it 90 degree and for the next and right angle and for the previous Press shift command shift and 7 to get the end symbol and then left angle like so so we have here the controls we need okay so previous next play pause and for the pager we don't need to have any kind of symbol in there okay excellent moving on so uh, this is actually the we are done with the HTML structure seriously oopsie all right so we are we're done with the HTML okay so this is the what we have here is that the we have the div ID hero ID 
opening and closing ones and within the hero id we have five ids for the controllers pager pause play next and previous and we also have an an id slider is called slider and within the slider id we have div class item okay and within these div class items we have another div called div class info all right so that is carrying the description and the title of the caption okay so this is the this was the uh, div classes that we just copied and pasted right for the images so that we can have you can use it for as many images you have or intend to put in your slider so in my case I have only five images so I just copied it and pasted four times and added the images appropriately and the titles as well right so we are done with the HTML part now this is step one is done and complete okay so moving on now this is the step two the second step and then we are going to um, work with the we're going to style this okay so the second step is going to be styling these IDs we just created and classes we just created within this right so right like this style type text slash CSS just close it like so and within these we're going to uh, or add the all these styles for these so first we're going to add the hero ID in there so to add an ID write the hash pound, pound symbol there then the hero then the opening and closing card brackets and the hero ID is going to have a width of 960 pixels and the height is going to be 500 pixels that's the size of the images so according to the image size okay you need to put these numbers so your images may be different size so you need to put that number in here according to to your image size you need to put this number here okay right now display block positioning will be relative and it will be relative because it will be the parent ID and that will be holding everything in there okay so right so and then the margin is going to be auto in that way it will be in the center of the window all right so um, that's that we don't need to put anything else in here simply copy this hero ID paste it and simply change this hero ID to slider ID and we'll be having everything except the positioning from relative to absolute because this is going to be the child of this hero ID okay and we don't need the margin for the slider let's remove that we just did okay moving on looking great so this slider ID will be the child of this hero ID okay so the hero ID is the parent of the slider ID okay so that's why it's relative and this is absolute so absolute position will always be within the relative position element okay okay it's working like so right moving on right now now is the now we are going to work with the information info class okay so to get this thing in the right place the caption area right so for the class we need to put a dot and the name of the class info so so then then info class is going to have a width of 960 pixels then height will be like 80 pixels depending on your need how much information you want to show so for this case I'm going to add 8 pixels and then display is going to be block and then positioning will be relative 
because this will information information caption area info will be the child of this absolute okay so this is going to be the child of this slider because this slider id has the position of absolute and then this this uh, info has the positioning of relative so this info is information is information class info class is going to be the child of this slider absolute position slider property okay so so what it means that it is this part is going to be within this slider okay so this is going to be this children of this slider okay moving on right now now this time we need to add um, a background color background give it a rgba color put like um, 104 102 and then the 204 then 0 and then 1 right okay uh, okay just keep it there uh, not 1 but point 5 I guess okay looking much better all right just keep it there that's not important the color and then uh, what else we need to do in here in the caption area so we just give it a position block and then z index we need to put a z index on that so 99 so it will be on top of the image right so now we're going to work with the h2 title tag and the description okay so so dot info h2 then dot info p so first the h2 so the heading will have a font family um, sans serif font size would be like 20 pixels font weight is going to be bold font color is going to be white and then um, padding let's put some padding padding from top is going to be like 15 pixels and the right side 0 bottom 0 and then from the left side 20 pixels okay exactly this is how uh, we want okay so now let's copy this property from the info.h2 and paste it in the info.info.info.info info 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 p for the paragraph or the description okay so uh, we'll be having font size 15 here and the font weight would be lighter okay looking great and then we don't want any padding do we uh, I guess I do so keep zero for everything and from the right side keep the padding 20 pixels same as the h2 right now uh, uh, let's give it a high line height of one pixel okay looking great right so uh, let's minimize the color in here okay all right now okay so now we would just work with the caption area and it looks okay right so now let's move to these let's fix these controllers okay so now we're going to have 
when we play with the play button so now first we fix one and then we're going to copy all the properties to the other function okay so the, for the play the width is going to be like 40 pixels height is going to be 40 pixels line height is going to be 40 pixels in that way it will be vertically in the middle of the box and then the text align will be center in that way it will be horizontally center and then display will be block and then background display will be block and then the positioning will be absolute and then give it a background color same as this one copy paste it all right and finally give the font a color of white okay all right Okay, forgot to leave the semicolon there. All right. Okay. Now, um, put a cursor pointer so that someone hover over on these, they will be having a pointer like so. And then give it a Z index of nine 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 triple line, not the triple H in WWE. No. So this is triple nine only. So it will be staying on top of everything okay so okay right now simply copy this let's review this so we have the width height height and everything is in order and we simply have to add the um, just after the position put top zero and the right is going to be put zero for the time being okay so we're going to add the everything similar to other controller right so copy this copy command c and paste it and play and I pause p a u s e so pause is there as well then paste it one more time for the next and ext refresh and the next is there and then the finally the previous p r e v okay everything is in the corner as it should be and then we're going to civilize this all right so let's give the previous right value previous idea right value of 135 pixels then it will be pushed from there 35 pixels then the next will have the zero right side zero so next next button will be in the right side and the um, previous button will be here and in between them there will be the play and pause button right so for the play button right side um, right uh, put like 48 pixels okay and then pause for the pause put right like 90 pixels all right looking great um, you can play with this positioning thing let's position it properly um, for the play button let's put 44 yep even better and then for the pause not 90 but 84 okay that's too much let's put 88 yeah looking great okay then the previous 135 is too much let's put 130 
pixels and that's too close let's put 33 that should work yep looking great okay right now our controller is set let's check it in safari so we have our controller and the images and the caption of the grid nothing to worry so let's get back to the slider in the slider just give it overflow hidden and that way everything will be hidden underneath this one first image and the caption is there for us so now in the information info class we didn't put any position where it is going to be from the top or the, from the bottom okay so just of the position put bottom b o t t o m from the bottom it is going to be like 100 pixels top so there you go excellent looking great but i don't like in this color but just keep it for the time being okay so uh, what we have to do is that we need to put 204 again i guess then it's gonna look nice yep that's the color i wanted okay and for these okay just copy these just keep it that way just keep it okay looking great so let's check it in safari again okay we are getting in there we have our image slider and we have the heading to title for the image slider and the description there and the link with it okay and the fully functional uh, i mean the uh, con full full control okay so next previous pause and play so let's rotate this pause play buttons so for the play uh, transform rotate semicolon 90 degree DEG then copy this and then paste it and the pasted one before press minus then web kit otherwise is not gonna work simply copy this refresh and you see the play button is in the right form and the for the pause do the same paste it and then pause become real pause style right excellent save the file okay now is the fun part okay so um the step two is complete so first we did the html right and then we just completed the uh, css for styling all the ids in there except the pager so let's work with the pager this is the final css part so pager as an id pager curly brackets then width is going to be 100 percent text align is going to be centered then display is going to be block and then position will be absolute and then uh, cursor pointer and then z index is going to be triple line right we can't see anything because we need to add the jquery functionality then it will appear okay so let's start it further so pager a then the curly brackets and then width is going to be 10 pixels then the height is going to be 10 pixels and then
then display inline block then positioning will be relative because this is the this is going to be the child of this pager okay this pager has a positioning of absolute and within this we're going to have this pager a tag right okay properties okay moving on then we're going to have a border one pixel solid white color then border radius it's going to be 20 pixels and then give it a background color of white can't see anything yet because of the jquery functionality so as soon as we put j pager id in the jquery function it's going to show up okay nothing to worry uh let's um do what else we need to do um okay all right let's do it okay now we've we're almost done we need to add few two more thing in there okay for the pager and we'll do that just after adding the jquery function so we are done with the css that is the step two so this is the final part the last part okay let's see time 36 minutes wow that's great we're doing great okay all right um, um and now this is the fun part this is the engine of the image slider which is the jquery files so let's get it from the website so jquery.com and then when you come to this page click on this link and then download click on this link as well when you see this page click file save page as or command s and save it on the appropriate folder and make sure it has a js extension with it and make sure you don't change anything just put it in the right folder okay where you have your other resources for the slider okay save it okay we're done with the jquery library file now the jquery dot malsub.com and click on this cycle plugin then click on this link and then click on this link cycle plugin and when you see this code page pops up simply go to file save page as and command s and save it in the appropriate folder make sure it has a js extension with it and make sure it is in the right folder with the other resources save now we are done getting the files jquery files now it's time to add the jquery functionality first add the script tag script tag in there script type jquery text slash jquery javascript then space source src then press enter and then first add the jquery library file open and then close it like so and then do one more time script type then source press enter and then finally add the jquery cycle dot all js file and close it like so and last finally add the script tag one more time script type only text slash javascript and just close it like so and within this we are going to add the functionality for the image slider right so then it's gonna roll as it should be right everything is set up press save let's check it in safari so far so this is our beautiful image slider taking shape we want to get in there okay so we have almost everything there okay we we need to we'll do still further uh, once we finish it okay so it's not going to roll yet because we didn't put any function yet so we are going to do the function right so right now press tab and the um uh, what is it called 
dollar sign right yep then the opening and the closing parentheses within these single quote twice and then the ID so it is going to be a slider ID right and just after the closing parentheses dot cycle C Y C L E that's the reference is getting it from from here and cycle then the opening parentheses then the opening curly bracket then the closing curly bracket then the closing parenthesis then the semicolon and then cut it from there and enter a few more times to get some space make some space and within these we're going to have the function written right so fx is going to have like fx then colon then press tab three times to make some space in between them so now put the single quote comma twice and then comma and within the single quote write any 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 um, fx you want to put for this case i'm going to add the scroll effect so c r o l s c r o l l horizontal h capital letter h o r z make sure you write it in an appropriate manner otherwise it's not going to function c r o l l okay then h capital letter o r z right now just after that we need to add the next and previous id so next column then the single quote comma then comma then within the single quote comma i need to add the next id then the pre rev previous then the column then tab twice and then the single quote comma twice and then the comma and the within the single quote comma i need to add the previous id as well and then just after this we need to add the pager oopsie make sure don't make many, any mistakes in there pager p a g e r then column then tab twice then the single quote comma twice and then comma and within the single quote comma we need to add the pager id p a g e r and now i press refresh and the the pager will be here right so let's see it there you go okay we need to um, start it properly just let's let's finish adding the functionality so it is there as it should be okay moving on then what we need so now give the timeout timeout colon then put 3000 milliseconds that means three seconds so if I put a value in there so at every three seconds it is going to slide okay and if I put to zero so it is not going to slide by itself but it is fully functional yep when someone click on these they will be you know they will be going to the next or previous it is the uh, user's choice okay if it is set to zero timeout is set to zero it is not going to slide by itself but once the user clicks on it then it slides okay so that's how it works in timeout timeout so if it is set to zero it's not gonna roll by itself but it is clickable okay so I want it to slide by itself every three seconds so I put 3000 and then comma because I have more to add so speed I'm going to add the speed double ID and then column then tap twice and let's put the speed like 900 you could add 1000 or 1200 or whatever depending on your need you know so if you want to slow it you'd add it okay so yep <clears throat> and last finally I'm going to add pause then column and then write one if I put pause one so when I when someone hover over on this image it is going to be paused okay so this is the function this is coming from the pause one function okay so if I keep it there when uh, let's refresh and the images images are going to slide by itself but if I keep my mouse cursor in there it is not going to slide so it is paused but but if, if I keep the mouse is in here it is also going to roll because it's in the upper state okay so uh, I'm not going to keep the pause in here because I have a pause button in there so there's no point keeping the pause item there 
so I'm going to remove it just showed you that how it works so for the last one last function you don't put any commas okay make sure you do that all right looking great let's check it in safari okay so this is our image slider sliding properly as it should be but the play and pause button is not functional yet because we need to add more functional functionality for that okay so let's do it but before we do that we need to just give it a appropriate look okay so why not yep let's dive in so in the pager css so we want to see which one is active so to do that press the pager i mean the right pager id then then space then a dot active slide is l i d e then curly brackets and give it a background color background of um let's put red for the time being so now press one refresh so this this image is selected so you can see what's going on in there like so yeah that's the active slide all right so i want to have it white so i just change the color and i don't want these to have a white color i want this to have a transparent color so in the background i write transparent so there you go and then i'm going to put a margin like 10 pixels so it is going to be away from 10 away from each other 10 pixels okay so now to get rid of these numbers we need to put in the top put like font size this is going to be the tiniest font in the world so point zero em right so and then add a color transparent and then semicolon then refresh and it's gone right excellent so now we have all things going on in the right way excellent 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 okay so we have fully functional image slider with the title and the description with the link so and we have fully functional previous and next button now we are going to work with the uh, play and pause button okay let's see the time 47 minutes okay moving on let's get back to the function for the pause and play button right so just before the slider function press enter a few more times to make some space so in there we need to we're gonna go we're gonna need to write some other code for the play, pause and play function right so let's do it so first at the dollar sign then opening and closing parentheses and within these single quote comma and then write no not not actually so write only function okay let's just do it from the start okay dollar sign then the opening and closing parentheses write function in there then make sure the function has also have the opening and closing here then the opening curly bracket then press enter okay so then uh, dollar sign again then the opening and closing parenthesis within these single quote comma twice and the id is going to be like uh, the play button first yep and then just after this click function we're going to add the click function and we're going to add a function in there f u n c t i o n like so see and just after that click function right so um am i right writing it properly okay just let's remove this and then the curly bracket space curly bracket 
and then simply copy this then write paste it there and then just after the cycle then the opening and closing parenthesis within this single quote comma twice and then the function resume R E S U M E. So actually, let's complete this and then explain. Okay, what's happening in here? So then this is my colon, then return fail as a false, then the closing curly bracket and the parentheses. Okay, with semicolon. Okay. right uh, so basically what is doing is that we are, we are adding our play play button ID play ID then we want it to function so once someone click on there so click function then it is going to get it from this slider ID and then this is the reference these are the function this resume function is getting from this file jquery cycle dot all js file then this is the reference so we write dot cycle resume so return false right so so someone click on this play button it is going to resume if it is paused okay so let's copy this line command c paste it and simply change the name pause p a u s e and the same thing then pause for the pause function it is going to be paused p a u s e so now if we are right in here we simply have to add the closing curl bracket and the closing parenthesis and the semicolon okay but we're not done here yet because some mistakes is probably the function opening parenthesis yep it is and there you go right excellent we have successfully let's check it and then declare it okay so we have the um, fully functional image slider beautiful image slider with the pager and the caption with the links within and then the next and previous button Play button is going to work just after pressing the pause button. If it is not paused, then there's no, no no point of pressing the play button, right? So let's pause it. Click. I just clicked in there, so it is paused. All right. So it's not going to roll by itself because I paused it, right? So let's click play. It should be playing, right? Okay, excellent. It is exceptionally working. So we have successfully just completed the beautiful beautiful image slider in 53 minutes 16 seconds oh my anyways we did very well very good well done well done well done excellent so everyone this is the final product let's let's um, give it a color uh, customize it further shall we or just leave it there because it's already almost an hour I guess you're tired already but I'm not I'm having fun it's really fun so uh, the finally everyone this is practically the final fully successfully completed product image slider with full control over it okay so within this image slider you have beautiful caption area where you have your title of the image and the description and also a link with it so when you click in there if it is targeted in some places so it is going to be there as it should be so it's working functionally fully functionally and then the pager also works and the previous and next button and pause button it also works so it is paused now it's not sliding and then if you play then and, and then then it's playing so yay so everyone finally we have successfully created beautifully handcrafted 
beautiful image slider, right? So let's check it in Chrome. Yay! Wonderful, wonderful work. So this is the next and previous pause. So it is paused. Now wait, wait. And then play and it's playing and then pager. Alright, and the link. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Well done, Mr. Bukhari. And thank you for the people who are were patient, you know. So it it is really a long tutorial. So but finally you come out of this kind of beautiful thing, you know. So if you take time to build something, it is going to last forever for you, right? So why not? So everyone i think and i believe it was fun to you it was fun to me so um i believed i believe you enjoyed it right so and i believe you like it and i believe you can be benefited from this beautiful image slider project what you have learned i hope that you learned something from this and don't forget to share because sharing is very very important whatever it is you just share okay so why not right so and I want to hear from you about this tutorial so please do write to me and please make comments do subscribe to my channel and please if you like it if it helped you please give it a thumbs up and if it didn't give thumbs down and let me know what what went what went wrong and what can be done to upgrade things and please also let me know what you what you want to see next so that I can work on that and yep so everyone it's been a joy writing these code and image slider for you so I hope you're having fun if you like it love it and please do share with others and I hope that it will help so many people to make this kind of beautiful thing yep so thank you for your time thank you for being here thank you for watching so I hope you guys have a great time so take care bye see you in the next video take care